With a rain delay Wednesday, we found ourselves at Watford High School in the Class M second round featuring a matchup of two ECC teams. The number three, Watford Lancers. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size, it's the size of the fight that's in that dog. Have more fight. Let's go! And the 19th seed, Ledger Curtis. On three win. Ready? One, two, three, win! Michael Burrows would help the Lancers get going with a big hit and run double. Stay up, stay up! Which would allow a run to score after two straight walks by Ledger. With another walk and an RBI single by Colin Bakken, the Lancers would have their lead, three to nothing. The third inning would see a share of unusual plays, starting with Tyler Yeoman's bunt, where he was called out at first after he was hit in the head with the ball. Daniel Castapoggi would deliver with a two RBI double to push the lead up to five. Another controversial play was when Austin Brandt's foot was called off the bag. And Sonny Pizzello was coming down the line. With some sloppy defense, Ledger was soon faced with loaded bases. And with an error by the third baseman where he just held on to the ball, Lancers would go up six. Senior Alex Petchart would then hit a monster bag clearing shot into the left. For a stand up double and three RBI. Colin Bakken would continue his dominance on the mound as Ledger had zero answer for the Waterford senior. He would tally five strikeouts on the day and also didn't allow a colonel to cross the plate. Uh, I didn't think about a shutout. I mean, if we hit the ball, I mean, last year's loss still kind of hurts a lot. Just got to bounce back from that. Quarterfinal Saturday, just got to put some swings on the ball. As long as we throw well, field the ball, we'll be all set. Waterford would add a run in the fourth and the sixth off a sacrifice fly from Colin Bakken and an RBI single from Sonny Pizzello to add on to their already enormous lead. In the top of the seventh, the Colonels in a last ditch effort not to get shut out, would scrape together a run when Austin Brandt hit a double, and next man up, Kenny Turner, would quickly replace him for the RBI double. With an 11-1 win over the rival Ledger Colonels, the Waterford Lancers will continue on to the next round of M's and play at home Saturday against Goodwin Tech. Last year, especially for us seniors, but got to take it a game at a time. Got to win. Got big practice tomorrow, game Saturday. Got Goodwin Tech. Got to give it all we got then. So it's the next round.